Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids and this is a speed test or benchmarking test for the new Core i5 1.6 GHz 11 inch MacBook Air. Now what you can see running on the screen at the moment is the uh, Black Magic speed test. If I just move the window you can see here, disk speed test by Black Magic Design. And it's performing some read write tests on the internal flash storage that's in this MacBook Air. Now I'm going to actually stop the test now because um, the fact that I'm running screen flow to actually record this at the same time as running the speed test does affect the results very slightly. But you can see that we're getting around about 243 megabytes per second write speed and 231.9 megabytes per second read speed. That has fluctuated and um, it has peaked at a read and write speed of around about 260 megabytes per second. Now, if I just take you through some of the results down in this bottom section here, you can see what the uh, MacBook Air is capable of handling. And you can see we've got a tick box uh, or a tick next to 1080i at just under 60 frames per second all the way across to sort of a 10-bit file. So that's more than good enough for 1080p uh, recording of video and playback. And if we look in this panel here we can see when it was testing 10 bit files at 422 we were getting a 230 megabytes per second write and a 251 megabytes per second read and that dropped down to 102 when we went up to 12 bit rgb files and 111 on the read speed so let's get rid of this the other thing i've run is geekbench and again i had to run this uh, before actually starting this video and that is purely again because uh, running uh, screen flow which I'm recording with does impact on the actual results so I've got the results already run here and these are the results for the 2011 Core i5 1.6 GHz MacBook Air we've got an overall Geekbench score of 5388 uh, the processor integer performance is uh, 3897, floating point performance 7354, memory performance 4280, and memory bandwidth performance 5950. And that's running the 64 bit version of Geekbench. Very, very good results. I wouldn't be disappointed in that at all. We just have a very quick look at the integer performance here. So, again, some good results and then we're slowly moved down to the floating point performance stunning 7354 very good results on that front and then we go down to the memory performance which again is expected to be good 4280 so a good result there for the memory and the stream performance 5950 again a very good result so let's move all the way back up to the top and just give you one last look at the overall Geekbench score of 5388. Now I did try and run the AJA speed test on this as well, but it refused to run. Um, I'm unsure whether that's because of the MacBook Air or perhaps an incompatibility with Mac OS X Lion. I'll try and show you that in a future video. Thanks for watching this one. Uh, if you like my videos, please do subscribe. You can always follow me on Twitter by following at Geekanoids, and I'll see you all again in the next video.